Hi, I'm Shabnam Yusufzai. I'm the entertainment reporter for jane-finch.com. Right now, we're in the Gregory Allen studio. He's a well-known designer in Toronto, and we're going to be talking to him in just a little bit. So I'm with Gregory Allen right now, and we're just in the studio looking at some of his pieces. Um, talk to me about this particular piece you have right here. Well, this is one of my classic Gregory Allen um, custom shirtings, the two-ply 100s, um, made to measure. And this is a little bit of my shirts and my detailings with the French cuff and how I do the piping and with my signature Gregory Allen name at the back of the collar. Um, I do little things like the hidden pockets, which you can see right here. Little hidden pockets, just things a little different to add a little style to it. So what made you want to design clothes in the first place? What was your inspiration? I was always just a, a kid that was really into fashion. And growing up in the Jane and Finch community, I couldn't really afford the stuff that I really wanted. So I started to just create, just be passionate and get things little hair and putting them together. And I just, it started to evolve into my own brand and people started to like it more and asking me questions. And I just started to make more and more and more pieces and just evolved into what it is today. So you mentioned that you grew up in Jane and Finch. What was that like for you? It actually was an, a wonderful experience. You know, growing up at first, I didn't realize what I had. And growing up in that community, it's the most multicultural community in Toronto, I got to see a lot of different cultures and know how to mix and mingle and appreciate the different lifestyles and, and involving that and taking that into my brand. So it, it, it actually taught me a lot. So now Gregory is just going to walk us through some of his pieces that he has. Um, do you want to start with this section? Yeah, sure. Um, what I've noticed is that I make short sleeve pieces in the winter times so that when people are going away on vacation that they have something to wear. Like if they're going to the Caribbean or something like that, they always tell me that they have a difficulty finding short sleeve shirts. And this again is, is my ready to wear line that you would find in something like uh, Got Style, The Loop, Three Monkeys in Montreal. And um, this is a little bit more of the detailings and things in that nature. And I noticed that you always have your name it right off the collar. It's a, it's a signature sta staple of mine that um, anytime people would know this uh, authentic Gregory Allen piece. So that's one of the reasons that I always put that in. But some guys have noticed like they want to pop the collar and they like to show it. And there's some ones that always just keep it down and don't want to show it. And so they have that variety. And what I do is like, I, I just do a lot of the different detailing aspect of Gen with the Gregory Allen signature collar and the different details and the snap buttons and that's one of the things that really separate us from the rest of them. So I noticed with the shirts they are plain but you always have that pop of color in it like yes. here with the blue yeah, and here with the red, red as well. So I make sure always to give something that variation of, of style that authentic Gregory Allen feel so once you see my shirts you know that it's a Gregory Allen shirt. And let's just bring it back here with the buttons do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, with the custom um, shirting program, how it works out is that someone would come in here and let's say they have a Nike that's blue, red with polka dots, for example, and they wanted me to match that the buttons exactly to the purple on their shoe or whatever it may be. They would come here and they pick out the buttons and they would see the different pieces. And then what I would do is I would take the fabric and I would get it to be dyed exactly the color that they want so it matches their shirt so it would go with the shoe and the whole nine. So people can customize their own shirt to yes, how they custom, want. They can customize anything here. We do customized furniture, we do customized ties, bow ties, and all of that sort of thing. And they come here and they get their custom shirts, they pick the fabrics, and yeah, that's what it is here. But this is the Gregory Allen Classic shirt. And the reason that we call it the Gregory Allen Classic is because of the Ginnam pattern. We have the black and white classic, and there's the same detailing aspects of it. We have the, the Gregory Allen Classic tie, which with the perforated leather and the Ginnam again. And then this is the newer season. This is the newer seasons of shirts for the fall winter. And then of course we have the Gregory Allen classic bow tie. So tell me about the bow ties. I see a lot of bow ties here. Do you just want to tell me a little bit about the bow tie? Yeah, well, the bow ties, the reason that I, I got into the whole bow tie world is that I've, I went around to a lot of stores and looking around and seeing guys liking bow ties, but there was nothing really that made me say, I want to buy that bow tie. It was kind of like it, it stopped in the 1940 with style and then it never went involved. So I said, you know what, let me take the risk and see what I can do with the different types of bow ties and styles. And, uh, and of, it, it, I introduced it in 2000 and uh, 2009 for Christmas and it's been going phenomenal. So I make a lot of wild and crazy bow ties. We got the snakeskin bow ties. We have the classic 
classic, I call it the Charlie bow tie because it kind of has that old school feel to it. Um, we got the, the star, so I just use a lot of different fabrics and just have a lot of fun and style with it, you know? So you can come in here and even get a custom bow tie to match your sneakers, your shoes, your shirt. So it's just like a lot, you can have a lot of fun. There's no limit to what you can do here. So there's a lot of that element here and this is also the Trend Custom Tailor um, shop which is one of the, the top tailor shops in Canada and you can come here and get a custom suit to go with your shirt, to go with your tie, so it's just like a, it's an amazing place. So I like this funky looking chair in the corner, do you want to just talk about it a little bit? Well it's one of the classic Gregory Allen pieces that you can see and it was the first introduction to the, the Gregory Allen collection which was also featured in the Azores Design Line magazine. And uh, what you can see, I use a lot of with the, the gingham pattern with the perforated leather, and this is one of the first pieces, and in 2010, you're gonna see more pieces to it. So what was it like living in the Jane and Finch community for you? Well, at, at first, I wasn't too sure. You know, a young guy growing up in the Jane and Finch community, you're not too sure what it's all about. It was just really great fun. And then as you get a little older, you're, you're wondering, you know, the different situations about it. But actually, what I, at the end, I realized it was a wonderful experience for me because um, Toronto is the most multicultural city in the world, and Jane and Finch is the most multicultural area in Toronto. So I've seen a lot of different things when it comes to cultures and appreciating them and seeing the different styles and colors and um, customs and traditions. And I was able to take that and put that in my brand. And um, that, that's now that's what's making me separate myself from the rest of the brands that are out there because of that, because of my background and my cultural background and that whole Toronto lifestyle. So I kind of got lucky with it. What kind of challenges did you face trying to be a designer? Well, there was a lot of challenges, actually. Um, one thing, starting growing up in Jane and Finch in my time, um, there wasn't really designers. It's either you were, a, you were a basketball player or you were a rapper or, you know, or you were a dancer or something like that. There wasn't any actual designers. And I, was, um, I would say I was the first one to come out of the Jane and Finch community to really represent something a little different. And when I was doing it, everything was considered to be, I would say, streetwear. They expected streetwear to come. And I, and I kind of changed that the way I did my thing. And I kind of did it my own way. So what kind of advice would you give to the young youth of Jane and Finch who want to break out in the fashion industry? Well, I would just say just be yourself. And I think that's what, that's what made me who I am today because I want to just be myself. The only way is for you to be completely original is for you to be yourself and just follow your heart. If it's just not just fashion, if you want to do music or whatever it is, the best thing that you could possibly do for yourself is to be original because when you copy someone else, you're just following everyone else and you're just a fake. But when you're completely your own, there's nothing better than that. 2009 was one of the best years for me with exposure-wise. First, I was in the Toronto Film Festival, um, CBC, The Hour, Swag Lounge, and Snoop Dogg picked up a couple of my bow ties. Um, I was with the best of the best Browns from T Canadian Goose to Tim Hortons to The Bay, so that was a real phenomenal thing there for me. I was in the Design Lines, Azori magazine, which is the number one architectural design with my first couch, and I think that was a great accomplishment. And it, the, um, I would say the LG Fashion Week also was an ex extraordinary one and introducing the ties and the bow ties now and people are really liking it and I'm starting to make girl bow ties now. So that's a real great accomplishment this year. And now we're in Montreal. So it's for Christmas 2009, I was in, we'll be in Montreal. And yeah, so it's just, it's been rolling and I've just been working harder and harder and trying to get more things. That's pretty much it. And what do you think the future holds for Gregory Allen? I think there's no limit to what can, can hold now because now we're trying to do we're going to be doing pocket squares and cushions and women's shirts and t-shirts and so there's a lot of different things I'm working on so there's no real limit there's no real point in saying this is the only thing that Gregory Allen company can do where it's endless endless possibilities so you are going to be branching off more into the women's section in the future yes for sure for can you sure, talk about sure. that I'm going to be branching off into the women's, children's. I even did um, bow ties, so we start doing bow ties for dogs. We actually did a real cool bow tie for dogs, and people are really liking it. And um, for the women's, we're looking to do shirts for women and to do uh, bow ties for women. So right now, we're doing bow ties for women, but in the middle of the year, we'll start introducing the girls' shirts. And yeah, I'm taking it from there because I'm getting a lot of compliments from women. Women actually coming to the store and buying men's shirts, buying small men's shirts and wearing it like a boyfriend shirt. They have that style called a boyfriend shirt and women are actually wearing it now like that. And I was blown away by that. So yeah, it's just like I said, it was endless. So where can we find some of your clothing line? You can find my clothing line in Got Style, The Loop, 
and Three Monkeys. So God Styles is on King Street, King and Spadina. You can find The Loop in Waterloo and Three Monkeys in Montreal. My own store, which is at Sherburn and Gerard at 306 Sherburn. You can find it on the website at GregoryAllenCompany.com and soon you'll be able to find the bow ties and ties in the Trent Custom Taylor store. Okay, I just want to say to all the kids in the Jane and Finch community that just follow your dreams and follow your heart. Um, anything is possible and just really don't listen to anyone that's trying to bring you down, you know? Just follow your gut instinct and just go for it. There's nothing that can stop you and God bless all. I'm Shabnam Yusufzai, the entertainment reporter, signing off for jane-finch.com. We'll see you next time.